Heaven will not fall if tribunal nullifies 2023 presidential election on account of 25% FCT votes. Nigerians tell us to know. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerians have taken to Twitter to express their reactions to President Bola Tinubu's recent statement regarding the nullification of the 2023 presidential election based on the absence of the required 25% vote from the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. In response to Tinubu's assumption that such an outcome could lead to chaos and anarchy, Many Nigerians have countered by stating that heaven will not fall if the tribunal decides to nullify the election on this ground. The sentiment among Nigerians on social media is one of resilience and a firm belief in the principles of democracy. They, urge, they argue that the electoral process should be upheld and that no individual, regardless of your your stature or political influence should be exempt from meeting the constitutional requirement for a valid election. By emphasizing that heaven will not fall, Nigerians are essentially expressing their confidence in the stability and resilience of their nation, emphasizing that the integrity of the electoral system should take precedence over any potential consequences. The statement reflects the collective sentiment of Nigerians who demand accountability and fair play in their democratic processes. The sense that no individual should be above the law or immune from scrutiny, regardless of their political preeminence. By stressing that the nullification of the presidential election based on the lack of 25% FCT vote, will not lead to catastrophic outcomes. Nigerians are calling for a transparent and just resolution to the electoral disputes. Nigerians on Twitter are using this opportunity to highlight the importance of upholding democratic values, promoting equal treatment under the law, and ensuring that electoral process are conducted in accordance with established constitutional requirements. The discussions around this issue demonstrate the active engagement of Nigerians in shaping the future of their country, advocating for accountability and safeguarding the integrity of their democratic institutions. Let's help them out. Even if heaven falls, safe, she be the chief rigger of River State say we should be happy heaven come down in our time. It be like say Tinubu and his lawyers they mad together. I saw the caption on Gazette News. That statement is treason offense already. Then go remove Tinubu, heaven will not fall. The man think everything should revolve around himself alone. He de mad. Hmm. Even if heaven wants to fall, let it fall for once in our time, and so we can witness it. Oga must go. Period. These are reactions from Nigerians. The only thing that will cause scarce anarchy is if the court fails to do the right thing by giving back the mandate to the rightful owner. Tinubu is making treasonable and felony utterances, and nobody is cautioning him. Do not say otherwise. When Peter will be a Labour Party member, say the same thing. Justice is bind. He does not know presidents, non ordinary citizens. He does not relate. He, he does not know relatives or friends. Justice looks on the fact of the matter way, in the fact and present. Is judgment, is hope of the common man. So you see, this is life. And now the question is, if Tunubu is saying that he knows, 
is aware that 25% is a real day for someone to become a Nigerian president. How come the INEC chairman who knows all this pronounce him the Nigerian president elect and now the Nigerian president? You see, sometimes when you try to be smart, you don't know that you are roping yourself. Even with this with this with these words that came out from their mouth, they have already told the Nigerians that see, we did not win the election. If they have known, they for not even talk something like that at all. Because now all eyes is fooling on judiciary. This man did not win election. He became the Nigerian president and all that. And that is the reason why the election should be nullified. You understand? You know too well that one of the criterions to become Nigerian president is 25% uh, in FCT. And you did not get it. Now you are now saying that the court should not use because of that to nullify the election. Okay, what of those people who now claim they won the election by the 25%? So, while I'm not going to come still cost, while I'm not going to burst, if they can't declare, you say, you, you're the real winner of the election. And the world knows well that you did not win the 25% in FCT. What do you think will happen? You know, no saying I down, down and self, nine while I go bust pass. Nigerians are really waiting, patiently waiting, watching the Nigerian judiciary. And this is the time they have to stand. You understand? Give Nigerians just justice. That is what they are saying. Give us justice and uphold democracy in Nigeria. We, because with this, their judgment, Nigerians will now know whether we are actually practicing democracy in Nigeria or do we still have constitution that guides this country. You cannot just come and change the constitution for your sake to favor you. No, that means Nigeria, there, there is no country like Nigeria. If there is no law abiding this country, if there is so anything like 25% win for someone to become Nigerian president, so be it. Anybody when they want on a seat, it no matter. We are all human beings. If you are fault, you go, go. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please, do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.